what is up you guys welcome to my channel so today is finally the day that isaac and i are going to the bahamas so it's 7 45 in the morning right now and i'm actually on my way to go get my eyelashes done the day we're gonna leave and then after this um i'm gonna go get a brazilian wax at a different spot um i know i waited till the last minute <laughs> so yeah i'm just basically gonna be vlogging this trip um i'm gonna stop recording right now but i'll see you guys at the airport over here just chilling in the uso okay we gotta explain what the uso is okay. i'm pretty sure people know what that is so the uso is like a little section in the airport where military people right and their families can come mm -hmm. just chill here while we wait for our flight it's pretty cool though but this what comes with the tv a game over there. Right there is like little game room for if you have kids. There's like a kid, like kid toys, a full kitchen. Cheers. There's boards that are about in that price range. They're sold to the traditional yes. retail Okay, channels. just do my makeup so right now before we get on the plane. No, the you know. Are from your no, but you know what though? Just the, the because of actually, unless we land, we're gonna go out. The, the so I have to be ready, so I don't have to get ready. You have to stay ready. Have to stay ready. So you so gotta get ready. ready. I like that. Get an Uber and go to Miami. Oh. So we're gonna get an Uber from here, go straight to the hotel in Miami, and then the fun will begin. So tell me why we got our hotel room, and they gave us the wrong one. Like there's like a whole ass family in here. Twenty is on the counter over there. I know there's like dirty twenties. What the what heck? The Wow, babe. Let's see how it looks though since we're here. Yeah, go check. They literally brought their own blow up mattress. Looks nice. Okay. So you guys want to approve that Yes, sir. Yes. Bahamas, Jamaica. The Bahamas. Bahamas. Yeah. You gotta be careful. They were like quarantining some people there. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Okay, so now we got our actual room. Yeah. What the? <laughs> what are you doing? This is just our spot for the next two days before we hop on the cruise. Um, is there a light switch somewhere? Oh, there you go. It is 9, 12 p.m. We just got to Miami Beach, South Miami Beach. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change. There's no mirror, but this is how I look right now. Dang, there really is one mirror here. Oh, there no, is one over one here. Mirror. Okay, hold on. Oh, they got some snacks in here. Are these included? The shots, I don't, too? I don't think so, but buckets are removed. I know. So we're right here. I'm gonna get ready. I'm wearing like gym clothes. And then we're gonna go eat because we're hungry. Oh, the bathroom's nice. This is where the magic is gonna happen. Oh, yeah. And this is where the magic's gonna happen. <laughs> and this is where the magic's gonna happen. You know, for this being an old hotel, it seems fucking dope. Yeah, so the guy, the guy, he was pretty cool. He gave us a lot of information. He said it was born, it was born, it was built in 1936. And what do we have in there? What the heck? Damn. Oh, dang, look at our fridge. Shit, stop. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they have Modelo? Dang, it starts with Modelo. Ready. I'm about to... Look at this fancy I'm about to crack one open. Let's crack one open, babe. On a serious note, we're gonna get ready. Probably drink a couple beers. Yep. Um, And then we're gonna go head out. I'm probably not gonna record too much when we're out there because I don't want to lose my camera and I don't want to be walking around with this whole chaos camera. But I'll see. Um, But if not, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh, we're actually gonna... Crack one open? Yeah, of course, why not? Okay. 
Wait, I, I don't drink Modelo without lime. Oh, it's a damn shame. Looks like we can't have it, man. All right, Frozo, let's crack one open. <laughs> I need a... Uh, the sopalor? Yeah. This is gonna be our first of many beers. Drinks. Yeah, our first of many drinks for the rest of the trip. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say? Cheers. I knew you were gonna do that one. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. Was, you know why I knew you were gonna do that? You because I was gonna do it to you. <laughs> you asshole. All right, I'm gonna get you back later. All right, so I'm gonna start getting ready now. Okay, so we are ready for the night. Damn it! Turn around. Give me a little spin. <laughs> you looking for a new baby mama or what? <laughs> Okay, so we are ready for the day. Okay, do my outfit cam. Okay. How long did I get ready in? Like uh, about 30 minutes. It's a world record right there. 30 minutes. I need a full turnaround. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're gonna go eat right now. <clears throat> right? We're gonna go eat? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm fixing it. You just messed it up. So we're gonna go eat right now, and then I don't know. We're gonna go get into some trouble, but I'm not gonna take the camera, so I'm not gonna record. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. So today is a new day. It's day two, and we are gonna go. It's called Tropical Sailing. It's basically like a little tour, but it should be fun. It's nine in the morning right now. We're eating breakfast. Well, Isaac is eating breakfast. I brought some. I bought some breakfast for the go. I'm not really much of a breakfast eater. Yeah, he loves breakfast. So, anyway, so I got my breakfast to go, and then we're gonna uh, the place is like a 30 minute drive. So we're gonna get an Uber right now, and then we're gonna start the crew. Not it's not the crew. We're gonna start the tour. How'd you sleep last night, babe? Slept like a baby. Did you? Must yeah. be nice. I did not sleep good at all last night. I feel like when I'm not in the same. That's why you can't wake me up. Yeah, I feel like when I'm not in the same building as the three girls, I don't know, like my motherly instinct kicks in. Like, I thought I was gonna sleep good, I was like, no kids, you know, I'll be fine, but oh my god, I can never, it's like, it always happens like this, even when I do like army stuff, like, this is nice. Yeah. So, right now, I, I probably only got like one hour of sleep, so that's why I'm so pretty tired. But you know what? We're gonna make the best of it. And I'm also not a coffee drinker because I get like jittery, so I'm not even gonna drink coffee. Caffeine is America's number one drug. It sure is, but it's not my drug. It's so freaking beautiful out here. It is 9 in the morning, and it's like 75 degrees. It feels so good. This is my favorite type of weather. Oh, our Uber is here. How about I record you? Look, I'll record you standing right here or something. Okay, it's recording. Okay. Okay, but first, we're going to do outfit of the day. Right. Give us a little spin. A spin. There we go. Nice. So, anyway, so we just checked in to the. So we're gonna be on the, that boat right over there. Show them, babe. I don't know if they can see, but you don't have to zoom in. We'll show, they'll get a better look later. Okay. So we just checked in, and then we're gonna. So now we're just gonna walk around the Bayside Mall, maybe get a drink or two, and just wait until our ship takes off. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. Really about a drink of beer or something. It's five o'clock somewhere. Yep. Right. <laughs> So you want to get you want to give them a shot of where we're at? Yeah. So this is how it looks. It's so nice. Oh, the water is not as clear as I thought it was gonna be. It does look more blue than uh Galveston than the Galveston water. But it's still it's still not as blue. It's like different from California water though. Yeah. Because California water is a different oh other ocean. What ocean is this over here? The Atlantic? No, it's not the Atlantic. That's my homie Google. Yeah, because I know California is the Pacific Ocean, Texas is the Gulf of Mexico. So what's over here? Ocean. I don't know, but I'll find out for you guys. Okay, we'll be. You guys will probably already know. We'll be it. right back. Stay tuned. They probably already know. We're the only yeah, dumbasses that don't. <laughs> so we asked the. I get nervous when talking camera. So we asked the guy that checked us into our our little tour. We asked him what ocean this was. I was right, it's the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> I'm always right. We really 
really out here drinking. Well, you know what? It's but lies. Like we're drinking yeah, water. Exactly. We're hydrating. At 10 in the morning before, while we wait for the, um, while we wait for the, 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 tour, the tour, tour to start. So we got, hey, we're on vacation. we got like 30 minutes or 40, 35 minutes. Cheers, babe. There's a bird in the mall. Is it coming? Let's feed it something here. Feed it. Feed it like a little piece of bread. <laughs> oh, look at the little bird. So these two birds decided to join us for breakfast. And it's a sign. I was telling Isaac right now that I think it's a sign of Blanca and Jaslyn. These two birds, like, it, it's a sign that God is trying to tell me that they're always with me because I freaking, I miss them like crazy. I cannot sleep last night. But it's a sign that they're always with me and they're taken care of, huh? I love you, babe, but how is that a sign? Two birds go up to us. It is a sign. Just agree with me. It is a sign. It is a sign. Let me, let me know if you believe in signs because I do. I believe in signs. I do too, but I'm trying to say, like, how does that relate? Because I was missing the girls like crazy, and then this is a sign telling me, like, like two, like what, like why, why are two birds inside the building? First of all, you're right. Wow, babe, you just paused my bubble. <laughs> this is nice. We're about to hop on our boats. So this is a boat. We're about to hop on. Is this one right? I think so. It should be fun. I'm excited. You excited? Hell yeah. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun, and I'm gonna record the rest of this on the GoPro. Right now, I'm recording on my camera, but I'm gonna record the rest on my GoPro. On our GoPro. <laughs> Is it ours or mine? Ours. So I bought these waterproof cases um, from Amazon. They were two for like eight dollars, and you can text while they're in the. You can text and when on Snapchat while they're in the case, which is pretty cool. Hold on, I don't know if you can see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, let me hide my password. You see, you can like swipe. So this is pretty cool. Amazon, you guys. Waterproof, waterproof uh, phone case. Okay, so we're gonna put the camera away and bust out the GoPro. It's about to get real wet up in here. They'll light it up and it lights up like a disco ball. Behind me, you have what's called Star Island. That's where most of the famous people live. 
There's one house that's really cool. It's all the way at the end. We don't really go to it because you can't see much. Because it's the only house on the island that has walls around his whole property. Mm. No one here is allowed to have walls. That like the HOA doesn't want him to do it. This guy said fuck it, and he did it. Um, in case you're wondering, it's not Trump, all right? So, <laughs> Uh, this guy put his walls up. The city of Miami was like, hey, dude, we're going to find you every single day you have those walls. So you got to take them down. He asked them how much. They said $250 a day. So he was like, okay. They took That's his fine. checkbook. He wrote a $90,000 check to the city of Miami. He was like, take it out of here. When you guys run out, let me know. I'll give you more. That oh. house belongs to P. Diddy. Oh, oh what the heck? If you actually ever seen his Snapchat from DJ Khaled, that's why they're always singing out of his house because they have full privacy. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. he does not live there all year round. His son does live there because he plays for FIU. Oh, Quincy? Uh, it's a rough college side for him. Yeah, right? Wow. It must be nice. I know, right? He never, he never experienced ramen noodles. Belongs to the world's biggest drug dealer. He's Ooh, not arrested. He's not dead. He's not arrested. Oh, he's not dead. His son? Alright, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> this guy engineered a little blue pill. I don't know. Viagra. Viagra? We were here, we were here on, we were on the boat last week and some white chick was like, Xanax! <laughs> <laughs> I know what you do, but. <laughs> so yeah, that belongs to yourself, I'm The guy that engineered Viagra. In case you guys are wondering, because I see a lot of you guys thinking. That is not why his palm trees look so erect, mm -hmm. alright? <laughs> it's because this guy actually imports his palm trees from the Sahara Desert. Wow. Mm -hmm. It only lasts about six to eight years and then they die because of our humidity. So every six to eight years he's bringing in new palm trees. That's you guys are looking at about $300,000 worth of just palm trees in his property. That's more than our house. That's what you guys see right there? You guys see the waterfall right there? Yeah. So that used to be Miami's biggest waterfall. Uh, you guys know what it's called? No. No, I'll tell you. Viagra Falls, all right? Uh, uh, guys, Major Key Alert. Uh, this guy wakes up every morning, he's got money, and I don't. I'm like, fuck, I gotta go to work. But this guy wakes up and he's like, bless the sun, Assad, look at the lions. Who? DJ Khaled. That was DJ, that was DJ Khaled's house. <laughs> For sure right now. If you oh, ever wow. did see his Snapchat, those little lines he's always talking about. All of us combined, all of us combined can't even know. This is where he's always one. riding his jet ski when he got lost in Miami. Mm. Wow. Now, I did see his We never saw him out here that much, but the rumor between the locals is that sometimes you can actually spot his belly all the way from the island. <laughs> Next house you guys are gonna see, you guys see the White House on the side? So that White House is one of the oldest houses built on this island. It's so old, it's considered a monument, they cannot tear it down. That oh. White House used to be in the middle of that property. When the guy bought it, he literally brought a machine, picked up the whole house from underground, and moved it to the side. Used to be in the <laughs> now, the reason why this mansion is built on top of that black thing right there above ground level is because his whole living room is glass, and he has an underwater aquarium in his living room. <laughs> okay. That White House, cool. yeah. that White House originally belonged to Bella Lugosi. You guys don't know who that is? That's the original black and white Dracula. Oh. Also, that's where they filmed the Adams Family show. Now, uh, that property belongs to Mr. Stuart Miller. He owns one of the biggest construction companies in the US. His goal is to buy out the whole island. He already has five properties on this island. Oh wow. He bought that White House for his mom. I'll tell you guys who it is. And the reason why he put his house in between is so he could still have some distance from his mom, but she could still live close. Uh, he put a house in between. Now, when yeah. Bella Lugosi died, he left the property to his daughter. When his daughter died, she left the property to her 12 cats. Well, when the next person bought it, literally had to wait for all 12 cats to die before they could begin construction. Oh, okay. I would have poisoned those. Yeah. I would have poisoned yeah. those motherfuckers. It's not crazy. It's catastrophic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have you guys seen the White Diamonds commercials? Nope. No? no? Alright. The perfume. Elizabeth Taylor. Oy. That was Elizabeth Taylor's house. That's a, that's a house that came out in the commercials. Now, fun fact about her. She was best friends with Michael Jackson. At one point, he bought her a $2 million gift just to make fun of her. And it was a six-foot bunny statue that he put out there for her. Now, Elizabeth Taylor was married seven times, twice to the same guy. What the and every time she got divorced, she got to keep the house. So she got a nickname on this island they call it the housekeeper. And the reason why he gave her the bunny, it would symbolize how she would just hop from relationship to relationship. Uh, a homie hopper. <laughs> I gotta get on her level. I gotta find my chip for the house. I can't even get a text back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Have you guys seen the show MTV Crips? Oh yeah. yeah. Alright, there's an episode 
where they showed a guy who had a huge round bed with an S in the middle. You guys know who it was? Mm -hmm. Shaq. Yes. Oh. This is the house that came out of MTV Cribs for Shaq. Now, when he lived there, he loved publicity, so he didn't have all these bushes. All his doorways were custom made to about 17 feet. And he also had a six foot statue of himself out there. Which is oh. ironic because he's like triple his own statue size. Yeah. Well, he used to come out there and lean on his statue like this and like while waving at people. Oh, that's nice now, of him. Does anybody here know who traded Shaq after the Miami Heat? Oh, traded. Who traded Shaq? No. His wife. <laughs> Don't do bad for her, guys, because she got to keep the house, the kids, the yacht, and his personal trainer. Wow. She's doing pretty good. Oh, oh crazy girl, isn't it? Alright, this house right here was bought by Floyd Mayweather. Wow. This house actually used to look like crap. He bought it, flipped it, and sold it. He's into flipping houses now. You guys know when you got money, you can do whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. Right. When I got money, I get to get extra blockage. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Mayweather can do whatever he wants because he's got money. In his case, he can't read, but other than that, he can do whatever he wants. All the way towards the back, that belongs to Sylvester Stallone. Wow. His White House belongs to Jennifer Lopez. Oh, it's your grown. Now, your grown. You might also recognize that house if you guys ever saw the music video of Welcome to Miami with Will Smith. There's a part in the video when he's on, he's up on the roof. They do a helicopter flyby. He's got his shirt wide open and he's like Miami. Like that. That's where it was filmed. Now at the end of the song, he throws a little line and he says, "I hate the club with Sylvester Stallone." The reason why he says that is because they're almost pretty much neighbors. You guys saw Sylvester's house? That one kind of yeah. house used to belong to Madonna. But Madonna is the only person to ever get kicked out of this island. What the heck? Can anybody guess why Madonna would get kicked out? Parties, yes. She would throw parties that would last for like four, five, six days at a time. That's so, hard. so what happened, everyone on the island got tired of it. They signed a petition and they were going to try to get her kicked out. She fought it and she won. And she was like, F you guys, I'm going to party even harder. <laughs> now this is how hard she partied. The buildings across the water got tired of it too. And they signed a petition. Wow. They got her down. They oh. finally got her kicked out. She also had a lot of paparazzi in her parties and it was messing up all the parties. Uh, right here, guys. It's one of the oldest houses as well. It's been remodeled seven times. Personally, I think it looks shitty. Some people call it vintage. Take your pick. But you guys might recognize the house if you ever saw the movie Bad Boys 2. You guys know the scene? In front of the house is when the Reggie goes to pick up the daughter and they're like, motherfucker, you look like you're 30. The back of the house, towards the end, when they're in the pool, it breaks open and go in the water. Right there. Oh, shit. I swear I look nicer than that. Now, out of everything I've told you guys, I do know for a fact that this house belongs to Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. You guys know how I know? I'll tell you, thanks for asking. So the other day me and Sebastian were driving by, we were a little drunk, but we weren't working. But this girl walked outside and I was like, ooh. And when she turned around, I noticed her hips didn't lie. That's house of the tour. This White House, one of the most famous houses here in Miami. It was in a famous old movie. The guy walks outside, he sees all of that, and he says the world is mine. Scarface. Scarface. Oh, wow. Now, just so you guys get an idea of how shitty rich people are. When Al Pacino did the movie, he liked this house so much that he bought it for himself. And then he wrote it off in his taxes as a work expense. <laughs> That's smart. That house used to be available as an Airbnb, and it only used to cost about $10,000 a night.